all love some good D, right? Well, I'm gonna take your D to the next level with just nine key tips. It doesn't matter what game mode you play or what build you're on, this video will help you out. And you guys know Pristine Jerseys is my main sponsor. I wanna let you know the quality is actually insane. So go check them out. The link will be in the description. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. To get more control over your player and limit your sliding, you want to have your defensive assist strength under 20. Anywhere under 20 is fine. I personally run it on 15. And then to avoid getting dragged by your arrow, you're gonna wanna turn who to guard off. There's a few ways you can play defense. The first one is just running side to side, just holding the right trigger. The next way would be moving side to side without the right trigger. And unfortunately, I see a lot of people play defense like this. It's a step up from the right trigger, but still is terrible D. The next way is holding the left trigger or L2. Look how much better you move side to side just by holding L2 or left trigger on defense. The fourth way to play defense has its pros and cons. It's holding your right stick up and holding the left trigger at the same time. The pro of this defensive method is you're able to play hands up D while still moving decently quick side to side. The con is your speed slows down a little bit, but I wanna show you guys a comparison. As you can see, left trigger only gets the faster first step or it has a faster launch if you wanna call it that. But the one with the hands up defense and the left trigger isn't that far behind. It's only trailing by like a step or a step and a half. Well, what if I told you there was a way to combine them both to get the best defensive position in 2K23? This is what that looks like, and this is how I personally play defense. Every time I change direction, I am letting go of the right stick up and just using the left trigger so I get the fast burst of speed when I'm changing direction. And as soon as my first step is done, I am holding the right stick up again. And if I change the direction again, I just repeat over and over again. And that's how I play defense. Now, let me show you some examples of this on why this is so effective. On all of these clips, you have my word, I did not jump once. These contests are all because I am playing hands up defense. If you play hands up defense, the game will contest for you. I literally promise you I did not press Y or triangle one time. If you play defense like this, the game will literally play defense for you. They will help you out. The game actually, 2K for once, will actually help you out. And this is why this is the best defensive stance in the game. Now this was just tip number one. I got a lot more. Let's get on to those. After seeing that, I know you guys are like, Dirk, when do you press turbo? When do you press the right trigger this is key you never never press turbo unless you are 100 percent beat and you are positive they are going to score you need to understand even if you're the best defender in the world you will not get a stop every time it's impossible and look at this bro look at 2k i do what i had to do after i got beat i sprinted towards him jumped at the perfect time and he still makes a 46 percent contest i just wanted to include that clip because even though you do a good job sometimes 2k will still sometimes bail them out it's unfortunate but that's just how it goes but to sum this up just take my word for it. i am a sweat to never hold turbo on defense unless you are beat and they are for sure going to score next anytime you're in a situation like this where they're in the paint and they're pump faking whatever never ever never ever jump please never jump just keep your hands up with your right stick look at this this is why you don't jump watch this contest i don't even know how i got a 22 percent but i did because that's 2k never ever jump i get screwed every time i just have that bad habit of jumping i don't know why even though i tell myself this rule all the time to never jump there's a few rare situations when you can jump and i'm going to show you guys those right now 
The only time you jump is when you see them in their layup or dunk animation. That is the only time you ever jump. And I know that doesn't make sense because you would think that once they're in that animation, they're stuck in it. No, you can jump mad late and you can take them out of the animation. And that is our goal. We want to get them out of their animation so they can get a weird layup clutch thing, whatever, and get a really bad contest. So only only jump when you see the person on offense going into their layup or dunk animation. Don't try to time it. Don't be like, oh, I think he's about to go for a dunk. No, 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 no. Wait, you will take them out of the animation more than you would think, bro. I do it all the time with only an 87 block rating. Pay attention to these two clips. Tell me what they both have in common. I'm going to play really good defense on this play. I'm gonna force him into an early, and I get an open contest. I was right there, so he was forced to shoot that early. But what do these two clips have in common? Does anybody know? Watch what he does right there, and watch right there. Both of them, after they did their little hop back, they sprinted to the same ball hand side. Everybody does that. When anybody this year hops back, 99.999% of the time, they're going to go the same direction that their ball hand is in. The whole point of this is you need to learn how to pick up people's tendencies and expect them and guard them. Most people, most people really only do the same few moves. Once you can pick up on what they do, they're really easy to guard. You pick up on people's tendencies, you will become a way better defender just because of that. FYI, this dude right here is not bad at all. He wins events and he shoots like 62% from three and I play him on the ones all the time. But anyway, that's not the point. The point of this is the perfect distance on defense. Where I want you guys to stand when you are playing on ball defense. You wanna stand in a spot where you're far back enough that it looks like they could have an open shot, but close enough that if you took a step or two, you'd be able to get a contest. That's where I want you to stand. Cause when you're standing like this, you're further enough back in case they try to attack the rim and you're right there and in their head that, oh crap, I don't know if I'm open or not. I'm probably not gonna take that risk and shoot it. Which brings me to my next point, which correlates with that. And that is when you're playing on ball defense, I want you to get in their head as well. I am moving side, side, up, down, literally the entire time. They don't know if I'm coming for the contest. They don't know if I'm trying to cut off the right, the rim run, the left. I am moving in my defensive stance from the start of the video the entire time I'm on defense but don't move too much to where you're getting yourself out of position just left right up down up down left right right whatever just play your on ball defense like that and you're gonna get in their head next we got a quick one do not reach I don't know why a lot of people reach if you reach right if you go for the steal and you don't get it, they're going to score. The the animations this year like take too long and it's just way too hard to recover. Only reach unless you have a 99 steal or you are 90% sure you are going to get the steal. And I'm gonna be honest, bro, 100% sure you're gonna get the steal. I never reach. I, okay, I don't wanna say never, but I rarely reach. It's smarter just to play on ball defense. Just be disciplined, don't reach, don't try to go for steals. You will only screw yourself over. Lastly, if you wanna become a guaranteed 2K God, watch the video that is on screen. Hope you guys have a great day. I answer to all comments and questions go out. <laughs>